Hey everyone, earlier on today I did a video about Zhash or Zhash. This is an ASIC resistant algorithm that's been developed by Bitcoin Z or Bitcoin Z. People keep correcting me and saying I should use whatever, you know, the other version. Um, so this is a new algorithm. It's what they will be moving away from, from Equihash. It's designed to, well, they're saying ASIC resistance here, but they also say down here it's a level playing field. So I don't know if you can interpret that as that they're just trying to penalize ASIC miners so that their hash rate is reduced. I'm not sure, but um, Bitcoin Z, the Bitcoin Z project down here, they have been pretty um, pretty strong in their anti-ASIC mining stance. They've said that it will remain an ASIC resistant coin. So that's the way that they're going. Now, what I want to do in this video is talk about Zcash or Zcash. Every time I say one, someone corrects, the, corrects me and say it should be the other way. Um, but this is arguably the most important coin, and it's the one that a lot of people have been following. The reason being, it was the very first Equihash coin, and to date, it remains the most expensive one from a price point of view. It's sitting there at $276.89. It's been even higher, well over 300 I think it was over 400 at one point as well. Um, it is, you know, the, it's the oldest coin. It's, it's the coin that a lot of other Equihash coins fork from. And, you know, because of the higher price, you would expect that a lot of these ASIC miners and the people that are buying the, the Z9 Mini will be targeting this coin, in theory. Obviously, you know, get factors like difficulty and all that. Um, many thanks to Sia for uh, for sending me a link to this. He tagged me in Discord. So I wanted to just quickly get through this statement. I will link to this uh, in the description here. You guys can check it out. It's not a very long statement, but I want to just quickly go through some of the points here. Um, so they talk about um, discussing uh, discussing the, the issue of ASIC miners in the past, but the fact it's now urgent because of the Ant Miner Z9 Mini. That, yeah, that's true. Um, so they're saying here that they're trying to include communities feedback into the ballot process for governance. You can see that there. Um, okay, but the world doesn't stand still. As Batman isn't reminded us, we're still planning on including an ASIC resistance ballot measure in an election process. They also think that the community expects us more from us than waiting until June to act. I agree with that. They can't wait around. This is something all Equihash coins have to t tackle very quickly. They can't fall asleep at the wheel. Um, so there's a few different things here. Uh, three different points. Consequ consequently, we are currently taking the following steps. Investigation and principal decision making. So they're saying here that they're going to do a bit of research. Um, and they're going to look into how, um, so we do not know whether, how effective the upcoming Antminer Z9 Mini will be or the degree to which ASICs already have affected the mining process or whether more powerful ASICs will be developed in the future. So what they're saying is they don't know whether ASIC miners have been targeting Zcash already. They don't know if it will live up to the 10,000 10, souls, uh, give or take 5% that they say. They don't know if that's going to be true and they don't know if this is just the start and they're developing, you know, a, a Z9 biggie, you know, one that can perform, hey, maybe 30,000 souls, maybe 50,000 souls, we don't know. We don't know, um, but if we do find out later, chances are Bitmain are actually doing it right now and they won't be for sale for six months' time. Um, so all of these questions matter when deciding to change the Equihash parameters, adopt a new proof of work type altogether, or welcome ASICs. A board member Andrew M Miller is planning to create a proposal through the grants. Um, I, you can't argue with anything they're saying there. They, you know, we don't know um, at this point. There's a lot of unknown factors there. Um, so it's hard to argue with anything they say in that section. In the next part, they say that making research and development of a more ASIC resistance strategy uh, an immediate technical priority for the foundation. Uh, we already outlined a technical roadmap for the next year. A roadmap includes development and bulk payment channels, alternative wallets, and starting an independent consensus compatible implementation of full node software. We are now adding ASIC resistant development as an additional technical priority. So what they're saying now is, of all the things that they're developing over the next year in the roadmap, they're now adding ASIC resistance strategy and how it affects everything. So, yep, can't argue with that. That is a good thing, um, you know, that they're adding it to it and they realise the importance of it. Um, based on community, uh, uh, continued community approval and the results of our investigation above, we have a rough goal of developing and submitting a mitigation plan through the ZIP process targeting a deployment in late 2018. Now, I'm not sure if they're saying there that any changes they make won't come until later. Um, especially as they buy for it means we should start now. The company signaling they may not do this, but we think there's already a loud and clear interest in the community at least have this option viable. Right, so it's kind of just following on what they said above. That's how I'm interpreting that. 
Um, right. So we've got some other, some more sections at the end here. Um, why we are bothering to evaluate ASIC power? Sometimes min minor manufacturer claims are hot air. What if the efficiency gains are minimal compared to new GPUs? Um, I don't ag I don't think I th agree with that because even if even if the new Z9 minis, uh, minis are they're not ten thousand if they're only nine thousand souls, you know a ten eighty Ti can do like seven hundred seven hundred fifty. If a new eleven eighty Ti came out, what would it be? Eleven hundred twelve hundred souls. It's a big difference between jumping up from seven fifty to eleven hundred per card and something you know that's ten thousand souls or even nine thousand or eleven thousand souls, whatever it may be. Um. I mean, they are right in what they're saying that they don't know just now. Um, but what they're saying here is, would it be worth engaging in a potentially contentious fork or splitting the community? Which, granted, could happen. We've seen this time and time again. We saw it in Monero. When um, some people fork from being ASIC resistant, other people want to keep it um, ASIC minor friendly. So you could have two different coins. That's what they're saying there. Um, would it be worth engaging uh, if GPUs were still competitive? Uh, perhaps these new ASICs are more advanced than we thought and could handle different parameters of Equihash. One of the easy wins that's often suggested in the community is to update Equihash parameters uh, to maintain ASIC resistance. But if this Antminer has the ability to adapt to new parameters, then such a fault would be a waste of effort. Simply put, there are too many unknowns to commit to any particular path yet. By putting resources into, into investigation, we can make better decisions and have options available. Um, hard to argue with any of that. I mean, effectively, what they're saying is that you know, they don't know just now. They don't know what the, the true hash rate will be. They don't know what the overall effect on um, the network hash rate will be. I mean, if everyone bought these ASIC mining machines, the Z9 Mini, and it only added 5% to the network hash, is that a big problem? Well, you know, a lot of people would say that it is, but a lot of people would say that it isn't. And this is what they're trying to look into. They're trying to look at, you know, the coin um, as a whole, try and look at a lot of different factors. Um, but... As far as what they're saying there, uh, as far as changing the parameters, that's another good point as well because they could change something in the algorithm and, you know, it means that the ASIC mining machines don't work. But then someone updates the, the software or, the, you know, some sort of parameter in the Bitmain Z9 Mini and all of a sudden that can now mitigate that change and it's it's back to being, you know, Equihash friendly. So what they're saying is right. I do agree with that. Um, so... The foundation believes it's important to maintain the power of GPUs in Zcash mining, however, and this nuisance is important, we also recognise that ASIC resistance may be a red herring for the health and decentralisation of the protocol in the long term. Perhaps there's another path we can take with ample time for the community to buy in and we welcome input on getting there. In the short term, we consider it critical to protect, uh, to protect the community members who are building the ecosystem with us. If it's necessary based on our evaluation of the ASICs on the network, we will hire a developer to construct and zip, submit a, a zip to mitigate the ethics on mitigate, sorry, if I can talk, submit a zip to mitigate its effect on the network. If the Zcash core development team in the community approves, it will ideally be deployed by late 2018. Right, so then it's saying want to help move the conversation forward. Um, even if we manage to new a wave of Equihash ASICs, there will not be the end of this discussion. And then really some new ASICs will arise and we'll have to go through this process again. Um, so, yeah, that's a fair point. Um, but perhaps there's a better solution. One that uh, subverts the entire ASIC resistance debate. Eventually we'll need one because I'm not sure how sustainable the whole whack-a-mole strategy will be for the community. There has to be a better way and I think it starts with reframing, reframing the discussion away from ASIC resistance and to, towards the perceived goals of ASIC resistance, decentralization, less concentrated proof of work, and access ability to the network. So I managed to get through that without misspeaking too much. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I kind of messed up there, as always. It's, it's kind of interesting. Um, I think I agree with a lot of what they're saying. I do, because there is, there is a lot of... Um, there are a lot of unknown factors there. And what they're saying, like a whack-a-mole whack -whack strategy is that they change something, they change something, they change something, they change something, and it's just, you know, you're just constantly changing, they're constantly changing, and in the short term, it might, you know, improve things, but in the long term, you know, you're putting a lot of energy and a lot of time and a lot of money into a strategy that might not be sustainable. Um, where I think um, they're perhaps not going to make a lot of friends with is the fact that they're saying that it will ideally be deployed by late 2018. Now, 
I saw a few people leaving comments and I saw a few people in the live stream saying that the founder was come out, you know, when the community was saying we don't want any uh, ASIC miners to be able to mine Zcash uh, or Zcash. The founder was coming out with quite pro, um, quite pro ASIC miner stances. Now, someone referred me to the forum. There was a lot of discussions in the forum. I didn't have time to spend hours going through all the different threads. But um, I've, I've seen a few people saying this on Twitter. Apparently, there, there are some people who support um, just allowing ASIC miners to mine Zcash. Um, so, there are some people in the community. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's right what they're doing. It's right that they're putting time and energy into researching the pros and the cons. No point rushing out and changing to, you know, changing the Equihash algorithm to, and then they're changing it back or whatever. Uh, and there's no guarantee. I know a lot of people are maybe you know, saying, why don't they go to X16R or X16S? There's no guarantee that that will always be ASIC resistance either. Better than just changing a few parameters in Equihash right enough. But the key thing that, that kind of caught my eye was deploying the changes in late 2018. I think that's good that they're researching. I think it's good that they're going to put some energy into actually looking at the facts and not just going, yay, we have to change. Um, but late 2018, I think that if these ant miners are going to be as powerful as Bitmain C, there's a lot of people that are buying these things. A lot of people. I, I mean, I mean, how many people do watch my streams? Sometimes only, you know, I think the other day there was like 30, 40 people watching. And I must have seen five or six people there alone saying that they were going to buy one. Um, so there's going to be a lot of these going around. I think most people, you know, I, I know that there's other coins like Zcash Private and, and all these other, uh, Zcash Private, what am I talking about? Bitcoin Private. Uh, there's Bitcoin Private, there's Zencash, and we're still waiting to see what a lot of these other coins are doing, despite the fact they are talking about being ASIC resistant. Um, but the fact is, Zcash, Zcash, whatever you want to call it, it is the original Equihash coin. It is the most expensive coin. Um, and because of that, I think ASIC miners are going to be looking at mining that coin. Do you think that late 2018 is going to be too late? Personally, I think it could be because I think if, if we do see, you know, as I said, you know, there was five or six people in my stream alone saying they want to buy one. If there's going to be tens of thousands of people with this um, ASIC miner, perhaps even hundreds of thousands of people, I don't know how many they sell, but if there's going to be that number of people uh, mining using this with you know with 10,000 souls each, then late 2018 could be well too late. Could be, yeah, very, very late. Um, now, obviously, you know, there's lots of factors like difficulty and all that kind of thing, but you could see... The, um, the number of um, people mining Zcash shooting up. And you could see a lot of people um, who have helped and uh, Zcash who have supported it, who have, you know, been there since the start and supported the coin. You could piss off a lot of people with this. Um, so, yeah. I don't know the answer to this. Um, I don't think there is an answer at this point either but i don't think i know an answer to this what i'm trying to do is just be a sponge trying to look at the pros and the cons of this with an open mind uh, that's what i'm trying to do anyway and um, so i think that's what they're trying to do as well they are trying to look at the pros look at the cons i don't know i don't know and um, they've definitely taken a different approach from other people from other equash coins where we've seen a lot of other coins come out right off the bat and said we will always be ASIC resistance. We will hard fork. Um, Bitcoin Gold, for example, come out and said that at the start as well. They were one of the first, I think. Um, they seem Zcash. You could actually argue that they may be sitting on the fence a little bit. I'm sure some people will say it that way. Um, I don't think that research and investigating investigation is a bad thing. But you don't want to be sleeping at the wheel either. So if they're going to make some changes, if they're going to, you know, whatever they decide to do, they really should be doing it within the next month. They, you don't want to be waiting till August, September, or as they see it, late 2018, you know, November, December. At that point, you know, this wouldn't be a GPU mineable coin. It really wouldn't be. And, you know, it comes a certain point where it'd be hard to go back. So if they do, you know, the research, if they do the investigation and it you know, supports that they want to be an ASIC resistant coin, which you'd be surprised not to because that's how this coin was launched as an ASIC resistant coin. Um, 
but if they do that and they find yeah we have to be an asset resistant coin then they need to make a decision soon you know talking four or five weeks and not four or five months so i'll leave a link to this statement um you guys can check it out i realize this video's probably been a little bit longer than some of you guys wanted but i did want to give my own opinion on this i want to give you my thoughts on this it's quite a big thing um, and I think whatever they decide is going to influence what a lot of the other Equahash coins do in the next month. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait to see what they do. So, thanks for watching, guys. Over to you. This is the part where you guys leave a comment and you give me your thoughts on, on all this. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you agree with what they're doing, if you disagree, uh, and if you, know, if you agree or disagree on, on the direction that they're taking the coin. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Cheers.